Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at some shooting glasses. If you're having a hard time seeing your front sight, seeing the numbers on your scope, or seeing the numbers on your shot timer, stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to take a look at some shooting glasses, especially for you guys that might wear cheaters or bifocals or something and you don't want to go out and buy prescription shooting glasses. So for this is mostly for guys that are farsighted. In other words, you can see far off, but you can't see things close up. So I ran into this uh, not long ago. Uh, I, my front sight I can see on a pistol. My arms are still long enough, <laughs> and my, or at least my eyesight is not that bad yet. So, but I noticed the other day when I was running my precision rifle that I was having a hard time reading the numbers on my scope uh, to tile my turrets. Little things like that, or read your dope book, whatever. And so I was I was going between shooting glasses and my my cheaters, my readers, my reading glasses, and that causes a problem on the range because you expose your eyes, you know, when you're probably not supposed to. So I got to looking, and actually, what happened was um, this the company here po popped up on my Facebook feed, and so I got to research them, got to looking. They are available on Amazon. I went ahead and bought a couple pair of two different styles. Uh, they will be available in my Amazon store. Just go over there, um, shop for them. It doesn't cost you any more to buy. It just helps the uh, channel a little bit on the backside with a little bit of commission that we get from Amazon. So it is by a company by called SSP Eyewear. They kind of specialize in safety glasses that uh, have like a bifocal type setup. Now there's two types of bifocals in these and the this one in particular here has the bifocal section and we'll take them out of the uh, packaging here in a minute at the top and this one here has the bifocal section at the bottom. So what I found was most people that are needing them for shooting like pistols and things like that they needed these according to the reviews I saw. Well, if I was using, and I bought these first, trying them out, and I realized they're probably not the best for me because I was only having a problem seeing through, uh, seeing my scope turrets. So, but this, because these are in the upper corners, and we'll look at this one, was causing me a problem seeing through my scope. So I actually went back and ordered these others, and I'm glad I did just to kind of show you guys the difference in the two. Uh, these are, uh, they come in different magnification. So if you look here, these are the plus 1.5s and they go all the way up to plus 3s. So they start at 1, no magnification and so forth. Come with the case and this particular one comes with two different lenses. An amber lens and then the clear lens, I think. We'll, we'll dig into that here in a second. Nothing fancy, just comes in this basic little cheap box here. Uh, got the little carrying case and then you got your extra lenses here. So there's the amber. And all I, I, this actually comes with three lenses. So it comes with um, a, a regular, uh, you know, tinted amber and then the clear so this particular one comes with three different lenses so some guys like shooting with amber or you know, may be real sunny on the range you're on comes with and you'll need the uh, just the standard tinted uh, comes with a cleaning cloth tells you how to remove the um, change out the lenses right here I wore them a little bit they're fairly comfortable uh, got you know kind of traditional safety glass shooting glass kind of look and if you look so we're going to look right here is where this uh, bifocal is so that's magnified one and a half times is where that's at anti-fog coating nice padded this is rubber uh, for your nose piece it's got rubber here so it's kind of grippy on the side of your head uh, so in case it is uh, in case you're a little sweaty or something. So let's take a look at these. Now the difference in this little case is pretty nice actually. It's got a little thing to run your belt through if you needed it. You can hang it on your gun cart, whatever. Um, hang it in your bag. Sometimes I'll hang it in the bag so I don't lose it in the bottom of the bag. Uh, but these are the actually the ones I'm going to use the most. Um, because, especially with precision shooting. And the other thing I found is like trying to read a shot timer. 
So you got your safety glasses on, and then you're sitting there trying to read your shot timer, and you're holding it out like that. Uh, this is for these guys that are uh, having a problem with just close-up things, especially reading. Uh, older guys, you know, usually around 40 years of age on going into uh, later years, you'll start having problems seeing things close up sometimes. And just some basic, you know, bifocal type setup or, or a uh, uh, reader glasses would work. So this one is in the bottom corner here is where that's at. I'll show you real quick. So this one is in this area here. And this one is in the area up here. This right here is probably the one I'll use because I'm able to get down on my rifle, see the scope perfectly fine, and then when I look upwards, I can use these kind of, you know, looking down on my turrets and be able to make adjustments, be able to read my dope book, uh, any data, you know, that I want to look and, and adjust, make any adjustments that I need, or if I need to write something down, or if I'm running a shot timer, need to look at it, I, I can go on the range as a, a range safety officer, an RSO, and, and let's say I'm uh, the guy running the shot timer for people. Uh, this way I can be safe, have eyeglasses uh, protection, and then be able to read without having to move things around a lot and then not struggle for reading. So I was pretty happy with these guys, to be honest with you. I was glad I found them. I didn't realize they're, they're not cheap, but they're not overly expensive either. Um, so these are going to run in the $30 to $40 range. Uh, when you're ordering, look on Amazon and be careful and kind of pay attention to what you're ordering because even the packaging is not real clear. And I wish the company would be a little more clear with what they talk about. Stay focused. That's all. Obviously, this green portion is just part of their logo and saying denial kit, bottom bifocal assortment. Okay, well, that's great. Uh, this one, I don't know what denial kit means. I don't even know what that means. Top focal kits. Uh, basic, Premier, and Ultra. I don't, again, I know that's kind of weird how they do this. So pay attention to what you're ordering. If you think you'll need, if you're having my problem, mostly with reading things um, like your turrets and things, but you can see a front sight or whatever all easy, then you should probably get these. Uh, with Amazon, the great thing about them on Prime especially, you can buy things. If it don't work out, you can ship it back free of charge. I do it all the time. Uh, I'll order stuff and try it out. And if I don't like it, I'll send it back or whatever. So that's the good thing about them. But uh, if you guys are having a hard time and was trying to figure out a solution, I finally found one and I'm pretty happy that I did to be honest with you because it's very frustrating the other day at the range when I kept having to take my glasses off and it's a, it's a rule at our range you're supposed if you're on the firing line at all you're supposed to have eyes and ears on at all times so I kind of cheated that a little bit by taking them off but I you know it was just frustrating having to switch glasses from between my readers and I was having to make uh, some repairs and adjust some scopes and some red dots we were sighting in for a couple friends of mine and family members so it was a little frustrating having to switch back and forth but if I had these I wouldn't have to do that so anyway glad I found them go over to Amazon check them out uh, for you guys that need a little help uh, with your site uh, something like this should work out pretty well for you but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions post those below if you found something you like a different brand something like that a different uh, type of method of accomplishing uh, what these glasses do be sure to share that with us that's always helpful and appreciated and as always guys like share and subscribe bring another video shortly have a great day